Soft Greens and Calm Winds were still around on Thursday for round two of the European Amateur Championship. They set the stage for a performance the Golf du Medoc had never witnessed. The number one European amateur player Ludwig Oberg smashed the golf course in the afternoon with 10 birdies, not a single mistake and a 61 on his scorecard. The Swede, who is yet to cut a bogey this week, went flag hunting on his back nine to take the solo lead at 16 under. Yeah, it was just one of those days where the, everything felt good, everything kind of went my way and, and that's that's what you got to do is shoot 61. <laughs> we made good decisions, me and my caddy, my dad. Um, so it was kind of just you know, one shot at a time and, uh, and you know, they ended up being pretty close to the hole, but it, it was pretty cool. Golf is never easy. I mean, we work so hard, everyone, everyone who's out here and, and when once you play very well, you know, we, you're just very grateful and, and happy to, to be able to play well. His 10 birdies only managed to give him a two-shot margin nonetheless. Denmark's Christopher Bring shot another 7 under 64 to take second place at minus 14. I kind of started off a little nervous, I guess. Didn't hit the ball too well, actually. Uh, and then I kind of tried to feel my way into the ground a little bit. Um, and yeah, ended up playing really well, actually. Uh, I'd say my, my putting was really good. Uh, Within one and a half to five meters, kind of good today. Uh, good approach shots again today, so that was good. Struggling a bit more than in the previous round, Joel Muscatel settled for a good 67 on the day. The Spaniard is third on the leaderboard at 11 under with 36 holes left to play. Today with the wedge game, I didn't hit it as close as yesterday but I pad really good, so it's, it was just about, I didn't have too much opportunities of birdie, but anyway, it's a good score for under today, so I'm, I'm really happy. Italy's Pietro Bovari had taken the early lead at the end of the morning session. He remains in the hunt at 10 under. It was a good score, but uh, today it was a lot more of a struggle than yesterday. I had to really focus and really hold on to every single shot that I could. I started off pretty poorly, missed a couple short short putts, so it was good to find the game a little bit uh, coming through the front nine and into the back. With half of the tournament ahead of the players, 11 men stand within eight shots of the lead in contention for a spot at the Open Championship.